Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Hyper-V virtual machine groups. VN groups are a new addition in Windows Server 2016 and they offer a way for you to organize your virtual machines into groups of course so that they can be managed together. So you could have for example a group named web servers in which you add uh, all your web servers from a specific Hyper-V host. One thing to note is that VM groups are usable only through PowerShell so there are no uh, graphical interface controls to create and manage them and they also do not appear in the Hyper-V manager so you can see the groups and the group members only using PowerShell. As far as types go, there are two. The first type of group is the VM collection. And in these groups, you can place virtual machines so that you can execute tasks on all of them at the same time. The second type is the management collection. And these are groups in which you can place other uh, uh, VM groups, both uh, VM collection and management collection groups. So let's see how to uh, create and manage groups with PowerShell. First, let's see how to create the two types of groups that we talked about. The two uh, commands listed here are used to create two VM collection groups. So let's run these two. And now we have these two groups created. And to create a management collection group, you can run the third command. And we also have uh, now this group created. To add members to groups, it's also a simple task. You use this command. And here we are going to add test VM2 to VM group 1 and test VM3 to VM group 2. And I didn't mention, but I'm running all these commands using PowerShell remoting on my HVS01 Hyper-V host. So let's run the first command and the second command to add the VMs to groups and we can also add groups of type VM collection for example to management groups and with these two commands we add VM group 1 and VM group 2 to the management group. Here we go. We can also get information about groups using get VM group. So for example, we can see that a, a VM group one has test VM two as its member and VM group two has test VM three and management group has the two uh, VM groups. You can also see uh, the group membership of a specific VM and this is the parameter that uh, shows you this information. So when you uh, execute get VM, you can select the name and the groups and you can see test VM1 and 4 don't belong to any group and 2 and 3 belong to their specific uh, groups. And the interesting part, the last command, is uh, the way to execute commands on uh, virtual machines from a group. So in this example, we are going to execute start VM on all the machines from management group. So in management group, we have these two groups nested and in these two groups, we have two VMs. So this command should run on the two virtual machines if the command works. And the command didn't return any errors. If we check Hyper-V manager, we see that the two virtual machines have started. So uh, seems to be working. Now, uh, since I don't need these machines, let's use this command and also stop them. So now we just execute stop VM. And of course we need to specify that we really want to. And you see that now they are stopped. So uh, 
we managed to <laughs> use VM groups to do a collective task on all of our uh, managed VMs. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and also share it. Also subscribe so you are notified when I post new videos. And thanks a lot for watching.